everybody, this is Keith Perkins with a Motor Age Tech Tip Short, sponsored by Autel. In today's video, we've got a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta that's got a drivability issue. We're going to use the Autel Ultra S2 to graph some data and review it after our test drive. So I'm going to show you how to graph that data, record the data, flag when the event happens that we want to go back and look at, and how to review it. All right, so I'm going to select calculated load, engine RPM, short-term and long-term fuel trims, intake manifold absolute pressure, and airflow rate from mass airflow sensor. I'm gonna click show selected, and I can go ahead and graph merge as well to start a fusion version of all of those put together. Now, what I don't like is that the airflow rate from mass airflow is in pounds per second. That's a pretty much unusable metric. So if I go back out, I select the three dots next to that, I can click unit switching and change it to grams a second that I'm much more familiar with. Now, typically I would view intake manifold absolute pressure and KPA as well, but I'm okay with PSI in this instance because of what we're looking at. I'll go back to graph merge, go ahead and start fusion, and I've got it all in one graph. First, I'll start out by clicking record. See the little flag icon down here at the bottom right? I can click flag and it will save a point in time in there that I can go back and look at later. You see on the left hand side, it says flag amount one. So if I feel something on the vehicle that is of suspect, I believe may be noteworthy, I can click the flag icon at the bottom right and go back and review the data when I'm in a safe spot. First, we'll go to the review data screen, then select our recording and click review. Now we've got all of the data PIDs we recorded during our event. At the top left, we can click Select All and click Graph Merge. Now we see our recording just like when it was live. I'm going to go ahead and zoom forward to our very first flag event. As soon as we get to that actual frame, the tool will prompt us to enter a description from this flag. This way, if we look at it later on, we can put a good description of what the vehicle was doing symptom-wise. Now I can scroll to the next flag or just like any other recording software, I can select pause and go frame by frame, forward or backward, making this super powerful after the fact. Well, thanks everybody for joining me for this short and we'll see you guys next time.